Welcome to the final game in history of Backyard Baseball. The deciding game and who will be the Ultra Grand Championship of the Universe. Let's go. Let's look at some stats real quick before we get on to this. Who's been our biggest threat? Zenin. Zenin for sure. Let's compare season. A playoff averages. Zenin, Zena, especially. They have some hits. Wait, has ever hit a home run so far? They've had seven hits, three have been home runs. No, six of their seven hits have been home runs. Francis has hit a home run too. Only person who has a hit and not a home run would be Leah. She is triple, but not a home run. She has an area of six, which I don't know. It's hard to explain. Angela here. I said Angela. Ninety-seven playoff year. <laughs> We have a 1.71 ERA. Angela's 6 and 0. She has thrown two balls throughout the whole playoffs. So, this match, it looks like it's very one sided for the Sox. In fact, as the Pickles I'm hit a finally have thing. a home game. Pete Wheeler, you know, the little lead offer. He's trying to bunt. You know, he hasn't done that in this series yet. He wants to take out with a leadoff bunt hit this game. Pete Wheeler knows how to bunt. But why the hell is he so slow? We do not know that uh, Pete is not having a good running day. That must mean maybe maybe Keisha's having a good running day. That is a ball for just and Jacinda Smith. Leah Wayne is coming up. These weak balls are heavy. There's vomit on the floor already. Dad spaghetti. I don't know what I'm saying that. I'm being stupid. Uh, that ball should be out of play. The balls only go out of play, I believe, in the far left and right field corners, and if it goes behind home plate. Other than that, the ball will stay in play. Somehow, Jacinda miraculously got onto first base. But Pablo Sanchez is up now. And anything could happen with him at the plate. It's an inside pitch. Pablo hits a ground ball. He goes for second for one. For first, Pablo is safe. There he goes. That was, there's now two outs. Pablo's on first for Keisha Phillips. Now, we do not know what kind of day Keisha's having. I assume it's a good day. Pablo's going to run for it. There is nobody anywhere near that ball. Pablo might as well score. Keisha. No. He's staying at second. There we go. It's a one nothing lead already. Sox have taken it. They are screaming for Ahmed. The 
crowd loves this guy. Have you not seen what he's done against the cookies? He destroyed them. And there he goes! That ball should be gone. And it's off the top of the wall. That is not a goal. That is not a home run. That is a double. Keisha's on third. Ahmed hits for power, but he just barely missed it being over the wall. There is no reason to not assume that that ball's gone right away, because that ball was hammered. But Amir, who has been popping up constantly in these playoffs, has just popped out, flat out to the left fielder, Dave Marion. But they're off to a one runs and four hits. So they're starting off pretty well. Here comes Francois Bluewire. And the bottom of the first, Angela is ready. As she'll ever be. She's been conditioned for this moment in history. Now, the pickles have never been in the socks. Ever. So. They must keep that in their minds as life goes on. Chico has hit a line drive off the wall. He's going for two. Pete with the ball. He throws to second. Weak throw. He throws to first. Amir throws to third. Jacinda has the ball. Throw to second. And he's out. I don't know why he runs. They, they, they just, they never learn. Tony just knocks over Angela like a little bitch. He hates his beating up his sister over here. What the hell? And he leaves the game. He's back. Zen and Estrada tied this game. The dude is a monster. Zenon is a monster. There is no stopping this man. That hit the wall in a bounce. That thing was flying. Well, it's a tie game. Zenon now has three home runs. Zenon and Zena have been like our big threats. Those are the big names on this team. And so is Chico. Chico's actually probably the biggest name, honestly. Pete is struggling horrendously today. Ahmed seems to be having a powerful day, though. I think Tony's having a good day, it looks like. My god. There is something horribly wrong with Pete Wheeler right now. They have one run up. Pickles now have one run on one hit. Socks with one, one run on four hits. This team is significantly better at fielding than any other team they have faced so far. And they usually play against teams that have horrendous ass, horrible ass fielding. Novecchio has done very well. He's, he trips. Go. But he got the first. That'll be a single. Annie Frazier, 0 for 0 today. She scored the winning run in the last game and drove in the tying run. Let's see what she can do. That is a strike. No shit. There's no doubt in my mind that, that pitch was a strike. And now with the pop up. Vecchio falls. That's a double play. Horrible running by Del Vecchio. That was just awful. I'm gonna smack this one for sure. Maybe Del Vecchio isn't having a good day. No, not, he's definitely having a good running day. Why do have a good running day? And oh wow! Wow! No! That was off the score! They threw the wrong way! Angela got a double! That should be 
gone. That was hammered. That may have even hit the wall. That scoreboard wasn't there. The wheel is all for one. We know this guy cannot bunt or field uh, today. What am I supposed to do again? But maybe he can hit. No. Angela runs anyway. They collide. No! I thought she dropped the ball! They have six hits, but only one run to show for it, and it's only the second inning. Backyard baseball sure is weird. And Leah Wayne is getting a single. What the f what? She stepped off the base on the throw to first. Leah Wayne stepped off the first base. Why? Why would anyone in their mind right run do that? Why? Pablo, go for that. This team pulls off this trick like 30 times every game. Gavecchio wants to knock over his sister. She falls. Heat Wheeler's cannon arm is just non existent today. It's unexplainable as of why. Pablo's gonna end up get that ball before Wheeler does at this rate. Dovecchio can throw. Emil wanted to beat the game. There we go. Now. Time for a home run. Is dominant, but, she, but, compared, but only compared to other pitchers. In reality, she's actually not that dominant at all in this game. Jacinda with the blast. That ball's gone! There we go. Jacinda Smith makes it a 2-1 to lead. So you just watch that ball fly away. Leah Wayne just doesn't have the same stuff that she usually has. I don't know what's going on. They gotta be really careful with it. I am unsure if this team has a backup pitcher or not. Zlia has pitched the whole game every single year. Pablo is the, is, our, is the Sox backup pitcher, as everyone should know. Amir would be Pablo's backup. I wasn't giving up a run pitching, but he's only pitched like one inning. They don't. They just love and trust Angela so much. Pitch. And Pablo is grounded out. He's been. He has wheels though. I should, he should play center today. Because they had a lot of balls towards center field. Well, even Keisha could play center. That is a base hit to center field for Phillips. There we go. That is how you get it. That is what you want to do. Get on base. And that's what this team does best. There's no team that gets on base better than this team. But there's also no team that struggles to score more with two outs. Even though that's how they won that game. Even though that's how they won the last game. That two out scoring that they usually struggle with. They had a breakthrough in that game and they ended up winning. They knew they'd get the double play. They just had the lead, so they're willing to take a little risk. Stan Olafson Davey leaves Francis Bluer to be up for the pickles in this inning. What can they do? 
what will you do when they come for you? Mir does it again. That strong first baseman. He's gonna. He's very good defensively at first base. Davy Marion has a double. Pete is retarded. Tony picks up the ball. Jacinda throwing home. Marion was in. He's going fast. Ooh. Annie Frazier has some wheels today. Davy Marion almost tied this game and inside the blocker. That is an out. Francis Bloor. Other than his speed, has been relatively irrelevant in this series. As far as I know, I believe actually she might have one hit, and if she does, that hit is a home run. That is going to be off the wall. Pete, as always, struggles to throw the ball. Angela dumb enough to go for the catch. Amir takes it. Annie sprints. Jacinda gets her out. God, this team is risky. I'm gonna make a big field and change right here. This will be the team's game changer. I'm putting Pablo in center field. Pete is just not doing it. I need to put Pablo in there. I don't know why he's so tired, but he just is. And these are a bunch of low scoring games. Okay, Leah. Leah's gotten one strikeout throughout this whole series, and Angel's been striking out batters like crazy. It's a one and two count. One ball, two strikes on Amir Khan. And then Wayne was absolutely like dominant in her league. In fact, actually her stats were better than Angela's. But Amir swings late at that pitch. And he strikes out. That is Leah's second strike out of the series. Who knows what Leah has? Could it be a pop-up? Could it be juice? Could it I mean a power-up, not a pop-up? It could be anything. Or it could be that pitch that allows Del Vecchio to hit a home run. Who knows? It could. Uh, there's many uh, possibilities. Infinite for what this could be. What are they doing? They're like trying to flick in the middle of the infield. They fall down. Del Vecchio is safe. That was strange. Annie is also one today. Annie actually really wants to bunt, but she cannot bunt as Delvecchio is on first base. So she swings. The ball's gonna drop. Delvecchio's going to third. Frazier's on her way to second. That ball is short. Delvecchio's going home. The throw is into the ground! Delvecchio makes it a three to nothing, three to one lead! And he's running. The throw to third. She goes back to se second. They wanted to, they wanted to stretch things out a little bit. And he's on second. Angela is one for one with the double today. I believe it was. I don't know if it was a ground rule or not. I don't know. But whatever the case, Leah Wayne is not as good as Angela. Angela is now is now two for two with two doubles. And is now a four to one lead, which is the lead that the Sox came back from in the in like 
in the bottom of the sixth inning to win their game. Uh, what am I supposed to do again? Pete Wheeler's 0 for 2. Now, Pete Wheeler can't run. He usually can. We put him in left field because he can't seem to run today. I know it's a late inning game changer, but it, it, it will change this game for the better. Pete Wheeler really wants to be a center fielder. And he's a natural born center fielder. I think he's a little hurt today or something. I don't know what's going on. Or maybe he's just so nervous that he can't run. He swung late. Either that or he's not getting proper rest. Maybe he fouls one back. It's a 2 2 count. Pete Wheeler, I think he has, I think he put out a power bat today and got rid of all his speed. This is very unlike Wheeler, it's a full count. I'm not sure what Wheeler has planned. Considering the kid's really fucking stupid. He is slower than Angela! Angela's gonna score! Wheeler's gonna attempt to- no. He goes back to first. Field. I have Jacinda. We all know. Sexy. <laughs> now Wheeler is either going to get out and hit a home run or a ground rule double. Every, or a single occasion. Every single time it comes up. Now, Pete is trying to tag up. He's attempting. He made it. Good for him. Pablo Sanchez is one for two with the single today. He started the rally last night in the sixth inning. That home run fouled up by Keisha, who will be up to bat next if Pablo gets on. No, that's a ground. That's another ground ball. Now, normally, both of those guys would be safe. But Pete Wheeler is disabled today or something. But it's now a 4 to 4 1 lead, 4 run lead. Which is not the lead they had they had to come back from. It was a 4 to 1 game that they had to come back from and they had 5 to 4. And now Chico Pablo's with the hit. Pablo, first playing set as a center fielder. Dropped. That is a ground rule double. Still, though, there is faith for Pablo. Pablo just struggles with catching fly balls. He can throw and chase anything down if he really needs to. Zenon Estrado's up, and we all know what that means. He's going to hit another home run. A with the throw. Easily picked off. Frazier has a cannon arm when she needs to. But also that guy who whatever is very slow. Cause we all know that he ain't a fast dude. That was retarded. Pablo with a strong throw. And he's out. Zenon is out. Akbar couldn't make the catch, but they got him anyway. Jay Green. And that ball is him. Oh my god, the kid is. Oh, he he just got faster. Oh my god. Now it's a 5 2 ball game. And Jay Green solo home run. It is not right seeing Pete Wheeler in left field. 
But it really had to be done. It had to be done. Pablo's there? No, he's not there! Pablo's running! He threw it to second. She won't run. She kills the ball! But Angela ain't paying attention. And he doesn't get it. Angela gets the ball. Leah gets her second hit of the series. Sonya Huggins up to bat. She has not hit at all. She has an open stance. Angela knows what that means. Pitch the ball outside. Angela picks up the ball, throws it to Ahmed for the force. Throws it to Amir anyway. Even though they only three outs. Get a fake double play. Even though they only got one. Even though they officially got one out. But whatever. Twelve to four. Oh man, Keisha Phillips is up now. It's a 5-2 game, top of the fifth. That that pitch was right down the middle. Keisha just swung a little high and maybe a little late. This team's been swinging a lot late today. Well, that's the thing. My reaction time is down. I'm tired. I just had a week of midterm exams and everything, so... Yeah. I've been studying a lot. Getting up early. It's actually school hours, but I'm not in school because this is the way midterms work in our school. We don't have to stay the whole Thank God we don't have to. I take all my tests in the morning. Everyone takes all their tests in the morning, actually. So. That is a hit. That is a pop up, though. That is a hit. That, that, that would almost hit the ceiling in the dome. I honestly don't know how high the dome ceiling is from. It would be like a massive, straight up, colossal tower. It would be arid and hot, and that ball might travel far, or it could be compact, and the ball doesn't travel far. But I have a feeling it's hot, and the ball travels far. Don't know why Sonya's going for that ball, but she did. Or Sonya. Is it Sonya or Sonya? I don't know. Figure out. I can't sit still, guys. I don't want to sit still. But I just don't. I don't want to. Zena Frome, who is the second biggest threat on the team next to Zeni. Chico, I would usually say is, but right now it's not that way. Stop. Oh god, that might be a ball. He swings at it. That is into the corner. It is on the What the fuck? They won't get the that's an inside the park home run! I couldn't do anything! You're gonna let me pick up the ball, okay? And now there are two outs. It is a two run game. That should have been a ground rule double. And it should be a three run game. Francis Bluer only hit so far, I think he's still that home run. She's 0 for 2 today. Davecchio has not struck anyone out. I just kind of noticed that. And now we are going on to the sixth. Sox 5, Pickles 3. Delvecchio is 2 for 2 with 2 singles on the day. 
two little one baggers. So I'm doing this so much. I had a haircut. I'm like the hair is getting into my eye constantly. I don't know why it is. Oh, that is a shift. He falled. I mean, he fell. I, I think I meant to say he falls. I said he falled. I am so dumb. Somehow that was a double. She could probably beat into the bag if she went to it herself, but she waited for freaking Sonya to get to the bag. Good job, Francis. I don't know what you're doing. Come on, Peter. Pick me up. Oh, Chico, the catcher gives this call for a slow ball, and he hits it up. Stands the first baseman and Zemmons the third. Oh, Davey came in to pitch. You have a new pitcher. And uh, what's her name? Julie Dunkel is now in. Is it Julie? Shoot, let me see. No, it's Leah Wayne. That's right. You see, the secret to this team winning is diversity. All the other teams look the fuck the same. They're not really that diverse. They're not unique. Oh yeah, this movie looks like there's different skin colors. Like David Davies can make this movie. But there's only there's not every single team that's only one I'm gonna hit a touchdown. In fact, I'm actually gonna find the most racially diverse team after this. That is a fly ball to the left. That's gonna get down. That's gonna be a single for Wheeler. But that should bring in Dalvecchio. That will not bring in Dalvecchio. Because the team is way, way, way too slow. So it's still five to three. But Jacinda's up. It's two for three with the home run. But Nothing. Davy Marion hasn't done anything good for this team. Until he came in to pitch. And he's still not doing very well. He's letting runners get on base. Shoot! I don't know why I swung so early. He's clearly a very slow pitcher. So you have to wait on his pitches. And that kind of sucks sometimes. Good thing that was a ball. Now it's 2 and 1. That'll be a ball too. It's three and one. Marion is not a pitcher. He has a tall hat. He is a he must have the tallest hat on the team. Like he's a black guy just had the hat just like that. That's gonna drop in. Davecchio's gonna score. I lied! It's still five to three. We are going into the bottom of the sixth. Chico Papa's the Mexican of the team. He's up. Pablo's there. You see, our team's pretty diverse. We have the suburban black girl, we have the inner city girl, we have the hippie, we have the Italians, we have the inner the two Italians, we have the okay, I'm being racist. I'm just okay, we have the two like uh Arab Pakistan people, like Pakistani people. Are. Then we have, and then we have the dumb Italian, then we have, what the fuck? We have the, this stupid guy. We have like two like native white people in this team. Actually, I'm probably was born in America. And that's a ground ball that, what? That was the weirdest double play ever. That was like, that was a 6-3-6 six, six double play? Or was that a 4-6-3-6 six, six double play? I don't know. Well, it could have been a 6-4-3-6. I don't even know what happened there. 
Oh, anyway, that game is over. See the team dug out. We win. Sox is dug out. Flips. Defense. I love this. Angela is the only speaker. Now, before the world tour, let's get some season stats. How diverse. Now, we have. That's the blackest team. That's five players on the team. There's three. There's two. Oh, why is the black guy last in the communist team? That's not nice. 248. Two black people. Two black people. Every oh, Paco. Paco Kaufman. Paco's not really black though. He's like he's what is he? He's like from like Guatemala, Honduras, somewhere like Nicaragua or somewhere area like that. They have a 215 batting average. Giants have more stolen bases than any other team though. Two sixty five, not bad. Fernando kinda sucked. You have one home run. Jane is a threat. She might be MVP out for our team. 254. 317. Wally and Karen. Watch out for them. 278. Watch out for Heather, Joella, and Gary. And Felix, too. But especially watch out for Heather. Player watch out for is Liz. It's a very female team. There's only two, three, four. There's two girls with three girls. World tour time, everyone. Time for the world tour. Let's click on it. Hey, credits. We are at Stonehenge. That's what the Lean Tower Pizza looks like. There's nothing else in the city. It's just a field with a very big Lean Tower, like 45 degrees. Richard Moe. We need to work on programming. Great Wall of China. Let's see what time this team goes. With your favorite baseball players. They did not do this much at all. Animation. I don't feel animation is fine. Paul Guell. That's what Hollywood looks like. I've been there. It totally looks like that. Another chance to show them all who rocks harder. Richard Moe did all the writing. Rat Memphis. Good music, by the way, Rat. Rat is amazing. Yeah, give me some more of that. Zenon! There is a Zenon! Shane Hendricks? Why was none of the characters named after the people who like... DJ Matter. DJ Supreme? Why is no one... Mac? No! Not a Mac! Joe Ingrid. Yeah. Jen Taylor, Dolor Dolores Rogers is Vinny the Gooch. It's a woman. Married. Let's find the name. Alright, she's her. No hot dogs are consumed during the making of this game. Okay, yeah, don't lie to us. Hot dogs are good. I'll kill you. Don't, actually, no, don't eat hot dogs. D -d 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 don't eat them! Just don't. Oh, no, no. Mr. Clanky wants to play too. Hey, don't give away all the Easter eggs!
I think this game is just... I don't know, but I never played backyard soccer. That'd be good times. That's what they all say. Come on! Backyard baseball. Do they have anything else to say? Interactive design. Oh, wait, wait, is it the same thing again? I don't know yet. Mariana Hyman. Isn't the Hyman, like, a skin on the bitch? Why are these different names now? I'll find a character, the same, and the same first name as Mariana. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Isn't that very entertaining? Well, all I have to say, I may make a super montage of this game. The playoff run later, I don't know yet. Just the playoff run, though. If I do it all, but have fun. I hope you enjoyed the series. I will make more shit eventually. So, just gotta wait. Peace.